Well, welcome back everybody to Luke part one. This is lesson number five. Uh, video number four, we're looking at the seventh chapter, verses 36 through 50. At this time, apparently Jesus had been invited to come to the Pharisee's house, and he went. And it was some type of gathering, a party, or a, a meal, or something. And so as Jesus is reclining, as the habit would have been, they would have been sitting at a very low table, and he would have been sort of laid out reclining at the table, what's described as a, a sinful woman, a woman of the city, what we officially refer to in our local classes as a wicked city woman, but a woman of tremendous sin heard that he was there and she enters in. She boldly comes in, so apparently it was some type of gathering where people were coming and going. She comes in and she's crying and she comes in and anoints Jesus' feet with some very, very expensive perfume. And so she came prepared. It wasn't just a happenstance kind of thing. She heard what had happened. She comes, she weeps over him. And she's crying so much that it wets his feet. And she's drying his feet with her hair. Well, of course, Simon the Pharisee, his thoughts were, well, if this was really a prophet, if this Jesus guy was really a prophet, then he would know what type of person this is. What he didn't know is not only was Jesus a prophet, he knew what type of person she was, and he knew what Simon was thinking. And we're really seeing what Simon's attitude was. He was not one who had repented. He was having Jesus in to find out what all the hubbub was about. So Jesus uh, has tells Simon, say, I've got a story for you. So he tells a story about someone who's forgiven a great deal and someone who's forgiven much. And he asked uh, uh, Simon, you know, which one had received the greatest grace? And Simon answered correctly. He knew what the answer was, though he didn't see what was happening here. The woman had repented. Whether she had repented before, some commentators believe that she might have repented before and admit Jesus, or if she repented at that moment, it matters not. But she repented, and she was forgiven. And this is the picture that Jesus wanted us to see, that the woman had repented. The woman had faith. Her faith had actions and deeds. She came in and poured out this perfume upon Jesus and did this marvelous thing for him. For him, she had experienced God's mercy and his forgiveness. She loved him, and in that love, she did a marvelous thing for him. Uh, Simon did not understand that. I pray that we do. I'll see you next time.